This is the round three for the championship, but the first round in which the Volkswagen Polo cars are taking part. This is race two for the weekend for the Volkswagen Polo cars. And as per the format of the race, the starting grid is in reverse order for the first eight finishers of race one. So the competitor who finished eighth in race one starts in pole position, and that is Raj from Mumbai. In P2 is Aditya Patnaik, also from Mumbai. In P3 is Ritesh Rai from Chennai. P4 is Avik Anwar. So it's going to be interesting because the top four finishers or the winner is going to be starting from P8. So he will definitely be making the charge. But let's see whether these boys who are in the front, are they able to hold the winners of the last race back? It's going to be a 10 lap race. So they have a little more time to overtake, but it's definitely going to be fun with lots of overtaking happening in this race. So be right there and watch all the action live. Driving a race car is kind of like flying a fighter jet. Especially in the sport, uh, you know, you gotta really show your emotions. Yeah, it's our time to shine. Show that's the kind of state of mind you gotta combine with hard work and time. You gotta climb to the top. Don't let yourself drop to your heart stop. I was going for the win. Oh, there's been a spin-off of one of the cars, which has left two other cars steering off into the grass patch. So everybody remember me and though I ain't toxic flaws, I ain't stopping though it's hip hop, you know, or is it rock and roll? I'm not dropping to no bad I in love with speed. Then I found a place where I could actually do something about it. Break, break, break it all down for you. I ain't never give it up, I ain't never you know give it up. Take, take, taking that crown for Is Avik Anwar, the UAE broke up uh, championship in P5. Uh, is Aditya Swaminathan from Bengaluru on car number 14 in P6 is race 1 uh, third place winner Jeet Jabak from Hyderabad in P7 is Pratik Sonavane uh, the race 1 uh, second place winner and uh, in P8 is from Chennai car number 5 Sandeep Kumar race 1 winner uh, in P9 is Shreyas Dimate in P10 is Munjal Savla in P11 is Aditya Pawar from Mumbai in P12 is Akhil Agarwal from Mumbai on car number 11 Starting off row 7 in P13 is car number 8, Niranjan Totkari from Pune in P14 is Saurav Bandyapade from Thane and closing the 15 car grid starting from row 8 is uh, Puanj Kaminene. So, who is it going to be? The big question is underway. Sandeep Kumar, he has started the 2022 season with a bang. He's got uh, the championship lead with Pratik Sonawan in P2 and Jeet Jabak in P3. Now they're starting from uh, the mid order, starting from row three and row four. It's going to be a interesting time to watch the start. It's all about the start and it's all about how uh, uh, the strategy is going to work for uh, these drivers. Looks like the sun is settling in well. It's 3.48 p.m. on the clock. Good weather so far, pleasant conditions for racing. We are ready to go. There's car number six. 
Raj Bakru in our screen. Gaza lining up nicely. Good view, of, good view here of the back straight. And these Volkswagen Polo cars looking fine as ever. You can see the wind gusts uh, a little bit with the dust being thrown out. It's definitely gotten a little more windier through the evening. Temperature at about 30 degrees Celsius. A little more pleasant real feel at about 32. And the cars have lined up, folks. The sun is slowly shining. 10 laps to the checkered flag as seen by our digital board. Welcome, everybody, to the penultimate round of the MRF MMSE FMSE Indian National Car Racing Championship 2022. We are excited to bring uh, the live action to you from the Madras International Circuit. Stay tuned, five seconds to go to race start. Can Raj Bakru, the man in pole, uh, take the win from the start? Ten laps will decide this. And we're off. A lot of spin there for Raj Bakru. Looks like uh, uh, all our front runners getting a great start. Aditya Patna getting a little better momentum from that start uh, as opposed to Raj Bakru. But Raj Bakru quickly. Oh! Impact there in the first corner itself. Number 14. Looks like there were two cars involved in that incident. That was number 14. Wow. And from the looks of it, I think it was number 13. Uh, and number 14 that had that impact, that was Aditya Swami Nathan. And Ritesh Rai from the looks of it. I'm not sure what happened, but uh, wow. Looks like number 14 is trying to see if he can get back, but uh, he's taken some level of damage to that front bumper. Could it be the end of the race for uh, Aditya Swami Nathan? All right, he's trying to get back onto the track as we see oh i think that's the end of the race his rear axle seems to be bent that's aditya swaminathan's uh, end of the race for this uh, particular race here is that moment wow number 14 and number 13 indeed I was Aditya Swami Nathan and uh, number 13, Ritesh Rai that was involved in that incident. Looks like Ritesh Rai uh, managed to get his car moving. Aditya Swami Nathan taking the most amount of impact there. He's parked his car. I think he's done for the day. That's the end of the race for uh, Aditya Swami Nathan. He was doing uh, phenomenally well in race one. He, he closed in on P4 and I'm sure he was looking to put a fight for the podium finish. The top cars are through the first lap. And here it is. Sandeep Kumar, car number five, has already moved up a couple of spots. He is chasing down to get onto the top step of the podium. Yeah, number six still leading the charge. Massive, massive fight going on in this top five. Looks like car number 13 also has uh, clocked in the pits. That's the end of the race for car number 13 as well. Sandeep Kumar last time around clocked in the quickest uh, lap time with a 2 minute 8.50 at the end of lap 1. He's already moved up uh, 4 spots. He's moved up 3 spots into P4 at the moment. Raj Bakru doing everything he can to defend at the moment. He's got Aditya Patnaik in the in uh, right at the back. 
Right now, a little bit of uh, gap coming between Sandeep and uh, Aditya Patnaik. We've got Jeet Jabak, who's uh, currently in P3 and putting the pressure on uh, Aditya. This could be a fantastic fight. We've got uh, Sandeep Kumar also in the mix there. Number 10 and number 5 going ahead of Aditya Patnaik at the moment. What a move from our championship contenders. Strong, strong fight uh, coming in there. Avi Kanwar is in uh, P5 at the moment. He is closing in on Aditya Patnaik as well. Looks like our race one winners uh, clearly are the quickest of the lot here. It's going to be may the best man win. Whose strategy is going to work? Well, we're going to find out in the next eight laps. The cars are coming down that final corner, turn number 12. Number six clearly emerging as the race leader. He's got uh, a bit of room ahead of uh, T. Jabak and Sandeep Kumar who are in uh, podium contention now. Number four. Aditya Patnaik moves into P4. We've got Abhik Anwar in P5, Pratik Sonavane in P6, Shreyas Dimate in P7, Akhil Agarwal in P8, Saurabh Bandipade has moved up a couple of spots into P9, uh, Munjal Sabla in P10, Aditya Pawar in P11, Niranjan Totkari in P12. And we've got two DNFs so far, three DNFs in fact. We've got Ritesh Rai, Aditya Swaminathan and Puanj uh, Kamin Neni who are uh, not uh, continuing the race. There is a three-way, four-way battle indeed going on for P4. While our uh, top runners are uh, moving further away from the rest of the pack now. Sandeep Kumar, a race one winner, will want to make this a double. He's staying as close as possible to Jeet Jabak at the moment. They're on that back straight. He's going on the outside of Jeet Jabak. Not close enough to make that move work. Jeet Jabak uh, using uh, a very, very good strategy to defend at the moment. He's not letting Sandeep Kumar. Uh, he's not giving Sandeep any room uh, for movement. Sandeep there flashing his lights. As far as uh, lap times are concerned, uh, they're so close. Sandeep Kumar slightly having uh, an advantage at the moment, uh, but he is uh, trying uh, his best to move ahead. Here we go, turning on three wheels now. This is just giving Raj Bakru just what he needs. He's going in and quicker. He's uh, built a little more gap ahead of Jeet and Sandeep at the moment. J. Jabak that going on the inside. We know this about J. Jabak. He's uh, an excellent driver and he's a strategist all the way. He knows how to defend his position. It's a mammoth task to get ahead of him. But let's not forget Sandeep Kumar is an ex-national uh, champion. He knows uh, he's a champion for a reason and he knows how to race. Oh, Sandeep is getting desperate there. Going a little on those uh, curbs. He needs to watch the corners now look at that fight between Jeet and Sandeep Jeet trying to outbreak Sandeep at the moment Sandeep trying to outbreak Jeet at the moment it's just going back and forth now this is a classic dog fight this is a classic race battle at the highest order last time around Raj Bakru clocked in the quickest with a 158 274 He's got clear skies ahead of him and he's making use of that. Jeet Chabak knows that Sandeep is in form. He has the pace. He needs to keep him at bay. As far as lap times are concerned, both of them are, are so close together. This time around, Jeet having a little more advantage over Sandeep Kumar. Like Jeet Chabak last time around clocked in a 158.448 and Sandeep Kumar clocked a 158.466. There's, it's it's hairline differences in terms of timing. This is car number 11, Akhil Agarwal. They're in the back of the pack fighting it out with car number 3.
Raj Bakru knows uh, Bakaru knows uh, how quick uh, both Jeet and Sandeep is. He's making the most out of that pole start. He's done a fantastic job so far. He's responding to the pace. He's clearly got the pace this time around. He's done a 158.274. That's quicker than his earlier lap. He is the fastest lap time holder in this grid so far. Six laps to the checkered flag. The fight is on between Jeep and Sandeep for P2 at the moment. We've got Aditya Patnaik leading the charge. Oh, it's Avik Anwar that's moved up a spot into P4 with Aditya Patnaik and uh, Pratik Sonavane fighting it out. Looks like Pratik Sonavane getting in the inside of the turn four. Might have been a mistake from uh, Aditya Patnaik, but uh, Pratik has taken advantage and he's moved up a spot into P5. What a drive from uh, Pratik Sonavane. Now he's chasing uh, the man from Dhaka. We're on the back straight here. The front runners are moving in. J. Jabak and Sandeep Kumar almost side by side into that main straight. Who's going to get their nose in front? It's uh, J. Jabak that turns in. Sandeep trying to outbreak, but he's on the outside line. That could be disastrous if not executed well. Sunday putting pressure on teeth. He's breathing down his neck. Oh, they're kissing bumpers at the moment. This is the closest battle we've seen in the Volkswagen Polo Cup. And here it is, that opening that uh, Sunday pointed. He got the momentum. He used uh, the pressure. He found that room and he's gotten ahead. Now it's Sandeep Kumar on the defense and Jeet Jabak on the offense. What a race from our top contenders, our championship contenders. It's go time for Sandeep and Jeet Jabak at the moment. Looks like Avi Kanwar is uh, settling in in that P4 with Pratik Sonawane breathing down his neck. We've got Aditya Patnaik in P6. Shreyas Dimathe in P7. Akhil Agarwal in P8. Sarabhandi for the NB9. Munjal Savla in P10. That's the top 10. But this pack is constantly changing. The mid order is really caught up and they are fighting. Look at this. Looks like Pratik Sonavane has cleared Avik Anwar. The man from Dhaka has been taken. And it's Pratik Sonavane from Mumbai that takes the charge in P4. He's going to try and catch up with uh, both Sandeep and uh, Jeet Jabak at the moment. Well, Sandeep says uh, it's my turn uh, to defend now. Let's see. How good Jeet can play the offensive. Oh, clearly Sandeep has shown that he's got the pace. Look at the mammoth lead that he's built in just about uh, half a lap, in over half a lap. I mean, clearly there's a reason why Sandeep Kumar, the champion, showing us his skill level in this race. I have to give kudos to Jeet. I mean, it is not easy to defend in uh, such a High performance races. Oh, that's Jeet Jabak spinning off there. Did he lock up his uh, tires? I'm not sure what happened, but he definitely missed his turning marker. Oh, that's going to hurt. He was in podium contention. Disaster there. Well, that is some serious disaster for uh, Jeet Jabak. What a fine race he was having. He put on a show for us. He defended like a boss. Ah, that is a, a hard one to swallow. There we see. He missed. He definitely missed his breaking marker, and uh, he spun off. I think uh, it was that uh, frustration of letting Sandeep go. Well, he's going to be back uh, fighting. We know that about Jeet Jabak. He's a fierce contender and a very, very talented driver. We wish him all the best for uh, this race and the next race uh, coming up tomorrow. In the meantime, in the front, Sandeep Kumar is closing in on Raj Bakaro. Will this be a double? Sandeep Kumar wants a double. Last time around, he clocked in a 156.692. He's close to his qualifying times. He's closing in on his qualifying pace at the moment. And is Raj Bakaro. Oh, what an... I mean, he made that look easy. 
They're going side by side. Sandeep Kumar and Raj Bakaru. Looks like uh, Sandeep Kumar has taken uh, Raj Bakaru and gotten ahead. I wonder why uh, car number six's indicator is on. Okay, he's uh, switched it off. Looks like uh, he did not expect Sandeep Kumar to recover and uh, catch up so quickly. Last time around, he clocked in uh, the quickest with a 156.692. That's the pace uh, to beat from Sandeep Kumar. The man in the lead from P8 to P1. What a fantastic drive. Wow. With four laps to go. I mean, less under four laps. Right now, we, as he crosses the start line, it's three laps to go, but... With three laps to go from P8 to P1 in this particular grid, that's not easy. These cars are all, uh, it's like a one-make championship, like I said earlier. So the cars are equally specced. They've got the same performance, so it is the driver's skill. That will really matter here. We drive with car number one. Looks like car number 10 has come in the pits. Jeep Jabak, that's the end of the race for Jeep Jabak. Oh, we're having a lot of DNFs this time around. We've got Jeep Jabak, Ritesh Rai, Aditya Swaminathan. Puanj Kaminini, all of them uh, not finishing the race today. Looks like the incident number at uh, turn 7 involving competition number 10 and competition number 4 is under investigation. That's uh, between Aditya Patnaik and uh, Jeet Jabak. Looks like we missed some action on the track earlier on. There was an incident at... Uh, turn 7 during lap 2 that happened at 4 p.m. it's under investigation with the stewards with uh, race control I keep you posted on further updates but in the front Sandeep Kumar showing us how it's done the championship leader continues his charge this could be his double and he's in on en route to take a comfortable comfortable win here Raj Bakru Doing a fine job in P2. He's holding Ford. He's doing his best to defend. He's got Pratik Sonavane that is catching up at the moment in P3. Avik Anwar in P4. Aditya Patnaik in P5. Shes Dimate in P6. Akhil Agarwal in P7. Saurabh Bandipade in P8. Munjal Savla in P9. And uh, Aditya Power in P10. We drive with car number 9 and car number 4. That's Avi Kanwa coming under the pressure from uh, Aditya Patnaik. We're down to the penultimate lap of this race. And the top guns are doing everything they can to keep their position. Sandeep Kumar from P8 to P1 after an astounding race. Raj Bukaru. The man in from pole settles and sitting on P2 at the moment. He's trying desperately to catch up to Sandeep Kumar, but he's on a pace of his own. Pratik Sonavane is uh, quicker than uh, Raj ba Bakaru at the moment. And he's catching up. He's closing in on that gap. Last time around, Sandeep Kumar clocked in the quickest with a 156.377. That's the quickest lap time of this race. Still not the quickest that we've seen Sandeep go on this Volkswagen Polo Cup. In the qualifying, he did a 155. He was in the 155 sector. Well, he knows he's got uh, one hand on that trophy. Got a lap and a half remaining. We had an exciting couple of laps uh, uh, battling between Jeet Jabak and Sandeep Kumar. What a race they had. Looks like number four is trying to close in on number nine there. That's Avik Anwar that's uh, from Dhaka that's uh, leading the charge in P4. Looks like Pratik Sonawane will uh, be happy that he's back on podium contention. What a drive from him from P7 to P3 at the moment. Here we see we're into the final lap, folks. Here is Pratik Sonawane doing everything he can. He 
knows the championship points is at stake, especially considering that uh, Team Jabak is not finishing this race. This could put Pratik uh, in a very, very good advantage. He's already gaining some points. He will gain that advantage and move up into P2 in the championship order. Sandeep Kumar, the man in uh, lead, has clocked another quicker lap time of a 156.312. That's the lap time to beat. Can Raj Bakharu catch up or will Pratik Sonavane close in? Pratik's definitely closed up that gap, but uh, does he have enough time uh, to make uh, a move? Unless Raj Bakharu uh, makes a mistake, I think it's going to be a difficult one. Yes, uh, Sandeep pushing that uh, Volkswagen Polo to its very max. through the 50 meter breaking marker here is uh, Pratik Sonavane going late on those brakes there steering in uh, nice and tight Avik Anwar holding forward in P5 looks like Avik Anwar has moved up a spot into P4 Aditya Patnik in P5 that's the standing order in the front now we're into the final sector final couple of corners the checkered flag awaits Sandeep Kumar, the man from Chennai, the champion, is back. He's taking a double this round. He came, he saw, he conquered. What a race from Sandeep Kumar, the lawyer from Chennai, takes a double today in the Volkswagen Polo Cup, race two and race one. Number six, Raj Bakaru will settle for that second. The pole man had a good, good uh, race start. Kept his position for a majority chunk of the race but uh, he was no match for the pace that Sandeep Kumar brought in today. And then P3 is uh, settling for that third part. He's going to be happy to know that he moves up in the championship order into P2 is Pratik Sonawane. That's our top three as it stands. Avik Anwar from Dhaka, the man with the mission, has moved up into P4. He gets some points in his uh, championship kitty. Aditya Patnaik uh, frustratingly settles for that P5 after uh, trying everything he can. And to uh, get ahead of Avi Kanwar, Shreyas Dimate in P6, Akhil Agarwal in P7, Mundial Sabla in P8, Aditya Pawar in P9, and Saurabh Bandipode in P10. That's the top 10 in race 2 of the Volkswagen Polo Cup. What a race we've had so far. It's been a phenomenal day of racing, and we've got so many more races planned for tomorrow. We started the first race at 9.30. It's the FLGB 1300 class. So, folks... Mark your calendars for 9.30 a.m. We start tomorrow with uh, some action-packed races in the round three, day two. Here's the race results. Sandeep Kumar from P8 to P1 takes the win. It's a double for him today in the Volkswagen Polo Cup. Raj Bakaru, the man in pole, takes second, settles for that second. Pratik Sonawane from P7 moves up into P3. What a fantastic race from him. P4 is Avik Anwar from Dhaka. P5 is car number 4, Aditya Patnaik. In P6 is car number 3, Shreyas Dimate. In P7 is car number 11, Akhil Agarwal. That's the top 7 uh, standings in uh, race 2 of the Volkswagen Polo Cup. And that's it. We're done for the day, folks. Before we call it quits, we're going to catch up with our race winner, Sandeep Raj and uh, Pratik down here at the pit lane as they make their way into the pit lane of the Madras International Circuit. Welcome everybody and we hope you had a ball watching the third round of the MRF MMSE FMSEI Indian National Car Racing Championship 2022. It's the penultimate round. The championship uh, takes uh, solid shape this weekend. We're going to see a whole lot of action packed races coming up tomorrow. So stay tuned. Like, follow, subscribe to our uh, social channels to ensure you get all the live updates. We've got a new app, Sportity, S-P-O-R-T-I-T-Y, where you can log in and get all uh, the race documents, the schedule, the points table, the win, the results, and so much more that will bring you closer to this epic national car racing championship. <laughs> this is your host, Vivek Abraham, signing off for the day. We're going to catch up with the race winners down here at the pit lane, so let's hear it from them. Until then, and until tomorrow, I'll see you bright and early at 9.30 a.m. Take care, ride safe, drive safe.
Yeah, so started P8 uh, because of the reverse grid and then yeah, C1 there was a bit of an incident between a couple of cars and then we made a couple of places. Uh, so I guess after that uh, we, myself and Jeet, uh, uh, kept moving up the pack and then I guess for about 3-4 laps me and Jeet had a very good fight. Uh, so and then I managed to pass Jeet about 4 laps to go uh, into the last corner and then uh, I had uh, Raj in front of me. So. Uh, I had good pace, so I was making good grounds on Raj, and then, yeah, about with two laps to go, I passed Raj, and then after that, I kept it uh, tidy and on track. Uh, yeah, so uh, uh, congratulations to Raj and uh, Pratik, uh, you, do, you know, to, to bag uh, second and uh, third. Uh, so, yeah, I thank uh, uh, Polo uh, Cup India for the opportunity and MR for the wonderful event, and MMRT for the great event as well. Thank you. Yeah, really good race, really like that. Uh, when the people behind me started fighting, it gave me an opportunity to run away, and I just managed to keep that gap. Obviously, when Sandeep caught up, uh, I didn't think it was there was a point racing him, because uh, there was if there was anyone else, I would have at least tried, but his pace this weekend has just been really, really good. So, uh, P2, yeah, happy with that. What a fantastic race. I mean, uh, starting uh, P7 back of the grid, uh, since it was a reverse grid, uh, reverse grid race. Uh, lots of uh, lots to learn, lots of moves to make, uh, but most importantly, I think it all came down to patience. Uh, got a fantastic start off the mark, and uh, I was at a very advantageous position uh, going into C1. And, uh, you know, it just gets really crowded, and uh, just had to back off a little bit, and there was an incident. So I hope the drivers are fine, uh, look like a massive incident, but uh, overall very happy with the outcome of the reverse grid. Uh, had a lot of work to do, so of course I did not go out on fresh tyres, saving them for the best later, that's tomorrow. Uh, but importantly, I was out on old rubber, so old set of tyres, didn't have massive amount of, amount of grip. But uh, you know, you got to work in the window, you got to work in the tyre temperature window and you know, nurse those tyres nice and well and uh, you know, by the end of it, it paid dividends because I was, I was, the first half of the race I was playing it cool but uh, second half is when I started attacking and I gained a couple of positions. So overall it's a good day at the track and uh, looking forward to coming back to office tomorrow. Thanks.
space car is kind of like flying a fighter jet. Especially in the sport, uh, you know, you gotta really show your emotions. Yeah, it's our time to shine. Show that's the kind of state of mind you gotta combine with hard work and time. You gotta climb mind, to the top. Don't let yourself drop to your heart stops. Let's be fun. Oh no! Oh, there's been a spin off of one of the cars, which has left two other cars steering off into the grass patch. So everybody remember me and though I ain't talk to clothes, I ain't stopping though it's hip hop, you know, or is it rock and roll? I'm not dropping to no bad fucking love the speed. Then I found a place where I could actually do something about it. Break, break, break it all down for you. I ain't never give it up, I ain't never give it up. You know I'm take, take, taking that crown from you. I ain't worried about your I ain't never So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I ain't never give it up, I ain't never give it up. You know I'm take, take, taking that crown from you. I ain't worried about your Slowing down, keep on going till I'm down. Now I'm never slowing down, cause we're blowing up now. I ain't never slowing down, keep on going till I'm down.